Hi, thanks for your interest in the What, Why and How webinar series from Celia Henderson. Here is a short clip of Celia and I talking it through and what you can expect. So I think the reason that we're here is because Celia is amazing, first of all. And I don't use that amazing phrase often because it's overused, but we all think you're wonderful. And you came with this fantastic idea of, of doing a Photoshop, a, a Photoshop deep dive, a Photoshop step by step. And we think we'd love to go with it. So what's on your mind for that, Celia? I want to do a Photoshop geeky, I think, but not not so geeky that it puts everybody off. It's every single, do you know, there are over 36 tools hidden on the tools toolbar and there are over 60 filters hidden away in different places. There are something like 50 panels down the right hand side. And if you were to look at all the menus in Photoshop and then look at every single item on those menus, could you honestly tick the box and go, yeah, I know Photoshop or Affinity so well that I could actually go, yeah, I know what they all do. And if you can, fantastic, come and join me and share your knowledge on conversations as well or contribute. But I think it would be quite fun to look at some of these and go through them fairly methodically. Why would you use them? What could they be used for? How could they be used creatively? How can they be used for the reason that they were originally produced? Mm. But so often we can use these tools in a completely different way or in combination. But I think if we can focus just on perhaps a set of tools and even looking at things like the, the eraser tool, who uses that anymore? Such a destructive tool. But do you know how many different ways it can be used? You can use it just so that you brush over your pixels, but don't mess up your backgrounds. All sorts of little things when you're doing lots of editing. Mm -hmm. That's where I want to go with this. Fantastic. And actually, well, the thing is with this is this is, just, I suppose, the start. And we may want to do more series down the line if Celia wants to, because these always prove to be wildly popular. And I know Celia has a personal life that you want to get, you want to live as well at some point. But these are going to be a bit different because we're aiming for these to be sort of um, not high intensity because that's the wrong phrase, but they're going to be really focused. So we're yeah. not going to have a, a two hour session with a, a large break and so on. We're going to have tightly focused sessions that look at one specific or a, a very narrow range of things each yeah. time. And we're yeah. aiming for that to be around 45 minutes to an hour. I think so. Right. Is that what we're aiming for? I think that would work absolutely perfectly. It means that you can really focus on that one particular set of tools, really understand what they do. And, and, and even if you just pick up a couple of little Photoshop nuggets, you can go, that is going to save me A, time, or B, that's how I get around that particular problem that's been really irritating me. There's lots of little things, and I'm pretty sure, even if you don't know the tools, great, then come along and learn all about them. But if you do know the tools, I won't put myself on the line, but I'm pretty sure I'll be able to come up with something that you go, hmm, didn't realise you could use it for that. Yeah. Fantastic. And this is the first time as well with these that we're we're going to go for a, a, a sort of a lunchtime or midday slot. Yeah. So depending upon whether people are going to be watching live or, or on recording, if it's on recording, it won't affect you. But if you're watching live, then we're going to go for a 1 p.m. slot and we're Absolutely. going to test the water to see how it goes, yeah. because that then gives Celia an evening free to go and do personal things as well. <laughs> but also because of the range of people that we've got coming now to so many different things that actually a midday afternoon slot is quite good for people who've got, who can squeeze that in, in their lunch, perhaps people from Grab the US lunch break. in the morning. There you go. There you lunch go. break. I would love to have been doing that when I was employed full time, just to yeah. take out 45 minutes from work and just go, do you know what? I'm just going to sneak off into a quiet room, stick my headphones on, and I'm just going to get a little bit of therapy on Photoshop. Then I go back to work. We should call it Photoshop therapy. That would be a great <laughs> title. <laughs> Thank you so much. So what I'll do is I will set up uh, the usual sort of sharing platform and I'll break down. We'll have a different column for each day or for each session. And so people, when they've gone and learnt how to use whatever it is that we're being shown on that session, people can go on and show their example of what they've been able to do. It's just for a bit of fun. You don't have to, but it would just be really great to sell. Sorry, go on, Fitzilia. We want them to. We do, we do. We're both teachers. We want to see what we're doing, what people are doing. So once you've learned something new, it'd be great. We're not looking for world-class award-winning photographs. What we're looking for is people learning something new from this and sort of engaging with it. So we'll set that up as well so that you'll be able to jump on 
and drop in some pictures as well. Lovely chat about it. I am very much looking forward to this series, Celia, and thanks so much for coming with this idea. It's going to be so exciting. We're going to love what people do, and we're hopefully going to run it year after year after year for concentrating on everything. <laughs> Wouldn't that be just amazing? I can't tell you how much I'm looking forward to it as well, Mark. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you. See you there, everybody.